quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who are you? Well, hello there, people with internets, and hello again. I'm the Emmy and welcome to my Let's Play Jurassic Park the Game, part um, 7, I guess. Hang on a minute. And there we am. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, welcome to part 7. And the previous episode, I took a ride in the bone shaker. And the T-Rex attacked the helicopter. And a lot of stuff happens. But here I am again. Um... Just your friendly neighborhood rescue team at your service, man. I'm Billy Yoder, and this so is... Look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the Predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, man. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Um, no, yes. Oh, yes. Sure. Sure. Why the hell not? Well, geez, don't be so excited about it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is a big deal. I should be throwing a box moving party. Box moving Thanks party. Thanks for coming to rescue us. It's what I do. That and moving people's stuff around. I could use a few good marks in my employee file. It's been a rough year. I know, right? I almost got suspended for skipping class too much. Mom would have killed me. <laughs> well, we all got problems. But I think I left here or somewhere. Or a couple little Are you ago. serious? What? I'm taking a break. <laughs> Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me, if we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charmer. <laughs> all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> uh, why are we looking at? So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Everybody's like, Me neither. Nope. <laughs> no way. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. <laughs> Maybe they just ate wet. Do <laughs> no, I don't think. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. <laughs> he, he almost loaded in everything. He's like, oh, there we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, we can Wait go here. here. I'm going to go talk to Sorkin. Oh, he is good to go uh, there. What should I do? You want to help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, nosing through people's I mean, stuff. What was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. 14. Never mind, who's... I believe. And her mother? Me 
tactics. No, for the best, really. We're both much happier. I don't. Oh, suggesting. Oh, her thingy. Oh, yeah. You've had some problems with shoplifting. There you go. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Uh, <laughs> I'll lose my job. No, <laughs> she doesn't care about that. Um, how the hell does the, do the dinosaurs need her care? That doesn't make any sense. Dino the dinosaurs are perfectly capable of... Uh, Surviving on their own. I mean, they are motherfucking dinosaurs. Why the, why the hell do they need uh, humans to help them? They have ruled the world for over a hundred million years. So why the hell would they need the humans now? That's a bit ridiculous. Uh, oh, then again, then again. In the movie, they said they have to get a monthly dose or of something. Because otherwise they will fall in a coma and die. Maybe that... Okay, it makes a little bit sense now. Uh, well, we'll convince you, Hammond. Well, definitely not lose my job. Convince you. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. <laughs> Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew every dino Let's on this talk. Um, I wonder what the outside world's gonna think of all this. The government of Costa Rica. Right, you know, Doc, I saw some bites like that of one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder. <laughs> please tend to the InGen files like we discussed. Yes, ma'am. I guess I really have to go in here. Maybe Jess has found something. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. <laughs> I gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. Okay, so I guess I have to talk to her again. Now that I know this. Alright. I mean, I knew Hammond was no real scientist, but someone should have seen this coming. I'm interested in hearing more How the hell could you see this coming? Oh, then well, again, like Nedry. But uh, still, how the hell could you see this coming? Try. That doesn't make any sense. And she was delirious? Yeah, very much so. She seemed to be having he delirious? Just a prisoner? Other people. Maybe if I can say this again. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Uh, I lose my job, Hammond, Dino Preserve. Well, sure, Dino Preserve. Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean, it's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Huh. That's what I said. You have a point. But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. How the hell does it matter if Hammond's in charge? Because this island is gone. Sort of. I'll... Hammond's? I'll think of something. Trust me, there is a very good reason. <laughs> well, come back when you think of one. I know that you're angry and scared. Okay, and well, uh... Exhausted. Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? <laughs> because I haven't said this wrong. Well. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Okay. I don't want to say this, and this doesn't work. Can I go? Oh, I Trust me, it. there is a <laughs> very good reason. Very good. Well, come back when you think of one. Hammond yeah. Decide. What about it? Right. Well, let's see. May maybe uh, Jess has found something or something. I don't know. How's your smoke? <laughs> <sighs> he looks really weird. That. Holy shit. Uh, leave Oscar alone. What the hell is this? Back acting up. Hey Oscar, was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoda charm, I'll need some <laughs> intel. <laughs> the old Yoda Eight charm. protester in the 70s, lots of animal rights crap. Handful <laughs> of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It 
said that? Between the lines. <laughs> Between the lines? Uh. Does this? You gonna do any work around here? What are we union now? Oh. <laughs> oh. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. Okay. How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Don't know, but you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Okay. Well, thanks. You've been a great help. <laughs> what the hell do I do with that? Wanna tag along with us? That's cool. Just oh, wow. give Oscar his space. Doesn't do very good with kids. Or adults or animals. <laughs> you Actually, Doesn't nobody. Do very good with anybody. <laughs> uh, stay out of his way. Anybody. I don't... How the hell do I get... Oh, there we go. Wrong one. Right mouse button, then you get out of the dialogue thingy. I didn't know that. Do you know, he actually told me it doesn't matter that we have dinosaurs from the Jurassic and Triassic ages living together, as long as it's exciting. Moron. So how did you know <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure that Hammond has never said that. The toxins are derived. Well any uh, well actually in the beginning you saw Brachiosaurus and Parasaurolophus in one thingy. Brachiosaurus from the Jurassic and Parasaurolophus from the Cretaceous, so that's a Oh. Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? Because... History. Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there... You could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. <laughs> and our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine oh, Dr. Hands. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, <laughs> I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which it's one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. <laughs> there we go. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, that, that what's that? that? InGen, Henry Wu added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly dose, Weekly, okay. They'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. Pretty funny how half of them are still thinking that this is going to be a uh, zoo. And the other half is like, oh, this is going to be gone. And then uh, some people are like, oh, never mind. And <laughs> I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances. I can't see anything. There we go. Yeah, Parasaurolophus. We've been doing some very interesting work <laughs> with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication <sighs> experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Uh, Dino told me what the hell. I don't trust me. Okay. Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. See that one? Sure. She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. <sighs> I hated that she's 
test parasaurs the, the entire time. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us uh, of trouble before every, it gets close. Every freaking time! It Stay annoys me. with Dr. Sorkin. Just call them by their right name, Parasaurolophus. Or Parasaurolophus, if you prefer. But this is wrong, actually. It's Parasaurolophus. Okay. Gates open. Okay, so now we have to, to help them out or something. Dino hurting, what now? Dino sp uh, speak, what now? So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be <laughs> able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the uh -huh. east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. <laughs> what about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. Okay. Um, so what do we do? Haha, <laughs> I love the little hearts. Like, oh. Brow, brow. <laughs> brow, brow. Brow, brow, brow. <laughs> Alright, so here we have the water tower, there is the water, so it's there. Um, there's the middle, so they want to go away. I guess I have to move them over there then. So, this one. Here we go. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. That's inconvenient. Do we have to do it now? Uh, Jerry activate speakers. Dr. Harding? Yeah. Activate East mating speakers. I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side. Okay. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Gonna get some ladies. Oh no, he's she's a lady. Gonna get some men. <laughs> what the hell? You were here just a second ago. Why are you where have you gone? So gone? what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? He's it doesn't dead. matter. <laughs> oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Oh. So pathetic. All right. Uh, the west side speakers for the foods. Right, there we go. And then we tell him to activate speakers again. Dr. Harding? Yeah. Activate the West Food speakers. West Side speakers, please. <laughs> okay. There we go. We're going to so eat the I rail. I you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. <laughs> Where did you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Okay. Uh, so now I guess we have to do the danger call, so they will all move out. I guess. You see, we have everybody over there, and he's the lookout. And when you hear the danger call right there, everybody's gonna go outside. So, Jerry? Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the center danger speakers. Activate the danger speakers. <laughs> the danger! <laughs> there we go. Let's get going. Good job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. <laughs> Yay! Well, you can come to my Jurassic Park. <laughs> Achievement! I heard that. Oh, wait. She has something wrong with her foot. Aww. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing, and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they <laughs> need the solution to survive. 
I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Oh, shut up. Just, just like you know everything. <laughs> like it's her, like it is her work. I thought that Dr. Wu did everything, and only she is, like, observing them. Dr. So Sorkin? it is Dr. Wu's Laura. work. Um, Laura, what's lysine? Ingen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. <laughs> Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. <laughs> and then okay, she said, <laughs> Jess, let's get started. Okay. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said <laughs> almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. <laughs> I don't keep track. So many girls. The... Hold on. You hear that? Oh no. Oh shit. Go, go, go. Oh. Alright, so I have to get my hands to the buttons because it's getting intense. Woo! Oh shit. <laughs> okay, you win. Land the chopper. Land the chopper! Land the chopper! Right now! No! Do it! Or I swear I'll take you down right now! <laughs> oh no. Oscar, get over here! I'll pull you in! Uh, there we go. <laughs> Come on, man. That's it. Come on. One more. Oh shit. Oh no. Don't you dare. Uh There we go. Tell that woman she's dead when I get in there. <laughs> His gi giant freaking arms. Fuck! No! Ah, no! uh, just, just, just too early. Come on, Oscar, put those giant freaking arms to work. Get in here! I wanted to get inside too much. There we go. Come on, Oscar, you can do this. Ah, uh, there we go. Hells yeah. There we go. Um, no, you're one stubborn son of a. Hey! <laughs> you just go. What the hell? There's nobody flying the chopper right now. Oh no. What the hell? Yeah, there we go. You can go fly the chopper. No problem. You got this. You got this. Oh shit. Oh, a knife. Where's your machete gone? Damn this thing. No. Oh no, no. No. We weren't gonna do anything when you were on the chopper, so I'm not gonna do anything. Fuck! Son of a asshole. Why they're close? Look at that. Ah, there we go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no no. Oops. Oh, okay, that was close. There we go. There we go. Uh, no. Not so good. Oh, come on. Fuck her. Is the water ready? Oh, we yep. are here. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. <laughs> Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. Whee! <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. <laughs> All those parasaurolophus. This is yes. how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. Yes, well, intended. Yeah, That's intended. why they're extinct. Yeah, time to really appreciate them. 
Ah, uh, the good old of course. No, he's the now she's the lookout. Or he. I keep saying. Oh, girl, take she. it easy. It's all that one. Oh, we have lag. That's oh, what's no. wrong. <gasps> oh, Velociraptors! <laughs> That's gonna be in the next episode. <laughs> yes, epic cliffhanger. There we go. So, Velociraptors in the next episode. Sounds good to be for this one part. What part is this again? Seven, I guess. Oh my, let's play Jurassic Park the game. Hope you Romans enjoyed it. So click the like button underneath if you liked the video. Subscribe to be part of the Roman army so you would never miss any of my videos. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button that will appear over the left of here. Or the subscribe button underneath the video. See you later Romans. Ave.